Okay, we're going to take a look at the date of case right now. Um, now, what I'm going to do with this short presentation is look specifically at the concept of the date of case. Other presentations are going to look more specifically at uh, date of prepositions, uh, personal pronouns, uh, things of that nature, so the, the grammatical nuts and bolts. This one is just focusing on the concept of the dative. Um, as usual, we're going to begin our presentation with uh, an example in English of the dative case, how we form dative constructions in German, uh, excuse me, in English. And then we're going to look at the same sentence translated into German. Um, the concept is the same, but uh, we'll see that German has a more simplified, direct way of doing it. Whereas in English, we have to look, uh, we have to rely upon uh, prepositions. So let's dive into the date of case first in English. Um, what I want to do first is to begin with actually with the accusative case. Um, I have this very simple sentence on the, on the screen right here. I give the book. Now, I have a subject in the sentence. It's me, I. I'm in the nominative case, and I'm doing something. Um, I'm doing an action. It's a verb, first person singular. A verb has a, we have a subject verb agreement here. Um, I'm giving. Now, what am I giving? Something receives the action of being given. And that, in this case, is, is the book. Now, the book is here the direct object. It is the object that is directly given. Uh, therefore, it's going to be the accusative case. It receives the action of me giving it. Now, by itself, this sentence tells us a lot. Uh, we have a subject, we have a verb, and uh, the action of the verb as it is performed on the object. However, by itself, it's also kind of boring. I give the book. It leaves a lot of questions unanswered. Well, to whom am I giving the book? Who receives the book after I'm done giving it? And this is actually where the date of case comes in. Um, I give the book to my father. Uh, now, the first part of the sentence, I give the book, is exactly the same as we had in the prior slide. Uh, we have a subject, a verb, and we have the direct object uh, in the accusative case. However, the sentence gives us some extra information. It tells uh, who benefits from the action of me giving the book. Um, to my father. Now, this is actually the date of case. It's the indirect object, the person who benefits from the action of me giving the book. Now, I'm not giving my father. That would be make him uh, the direct object in the accusative case. However, he receives the action. Now, in English, uh, we, we, we have this whole phrase, to my father. Uh, this, we, use the, we use the preposition to to indicate the dative. Uh, we'll see in a second that this isn't the case in German. Um, all right, well, with this in mind, let's look at the same sentence in German. Ich gebe das Buch. Let's break this down uh, step by step. Subject, the nominative case, the, the person who's performing the action in the sentence, is ich, first person singular. Now, I have to be doing something, not just simply standing around, and I'm giving. Ich gebe. Uh, we have a verb, first person singular form of the verb, and that matches with the subject of the sentence, which is a first person singular uh, personal pronoun, ich, ich gebe, I give. Now again, this uh, prompts the question, well, what am I giving? What receives the action of me giving it? And that would be das Buch. Again, this is a direct object, accusative case. It receives the action of me giving it. In other words, it's the noun that's directly influenced by the action of the verb. All right, so we have ich, subject, gebe, the verb, and das Buch, which would be direct object in the accusative case. Now, thinking back to this English sentence that we had, um, we need to give this book to someone. Uh, this makes the sentence more interesting, provides a little more information. So let's give it to my father again. Ich gebe meinem Vater das Buch. Uh, now, you'll see that uh, we have ich gebe, again, 
it's the uh, we have ich subject gebe is the verb now we have between the verb and the direct object das Buch we have a dative masculine noun meinem Vater notice that there's no preposition there there is no to or zu um, instead the whole uh, I can tell by the way the noun is uh, or the the possessive adjective meinem I, the em ending on the end of this indicates that this whole phrase meinem Vater is in the dative case um, again it tells uh, reports uh, who benefits from the action of me giving the book I give it to my father now I could also replace meinem Vater with the uh, third person singular dative personal pronoun ihm or him I give him the book in English we would say I give the book to him but in German we say, we say I give him the book uh, nevertheless it's still in dative um, it's still uh, the the person who benefits from the action of me giving the book and uh, the book is given to him now I'm not going to get into the details of word order you'll notice that German puts the uh, the data in this instance before the direct object uh, you also notice that uh, the uh, the endings on the possessive adjectives uh, em is different than the ones that we've looked at before um, I'm going to cover all of these grammar nuts and bolts the details in different presentations the point I just want to drive home with this presentation is that the dative uh, reports uh, on who receives the action now um, and this is then in its most basic fundamental form that is what the dative is um, there are also other uses of dative. Some verbs, for instance, gefallen or helfen, uh, to please or to help, uh, automatically take a dative object. We'll get into these a little bit later. The main idea is that these verbs, gefallen and helfen, what you're actually doing, if you think about it, I give help to someone. I am pleasing to someone. Um, so if you ever, if, if in German, if you could ever formulate the same sentence in English using two, um, chances are, a good chance that it's going to be, it's, it's a dative. Now, certain prepositions, for example, um, aus, aus, by, mit, um, automatically take a dative object. We've seen this with accusative prepositions, so there are also some dative prepositions that uh, take a dative object. Now, uh, we'll get into those later. The main thing is the data answers the question to whom? Who benefits from the action? Who receives the object? Uh, the dative case.